Now that the Panora is ready to scan, bring the patient over to the machine. You can move the headrest to an approximate position of the patient height by pressing the up-down switch on the console on the column. Next, have the patient remove their jewelry and eyeglasses. Before having the patient enter the machine, expand the headrest by pulling on one side. Have the patient step into the machine, rest their chin on the chin rest, and bite gently on the bite stick. We recommend that the patient cross their arms and hold the stabilizing bars. This allows the patient to drop the shoulders, which expands the spine. Making sure the patient is holding the stabilizing bars, have them step forward so their feet are close to the base of the column. This further stretches the spine, which can further improve the image quality. Slide the headrest down and in to fit with the patient's head. Press the beam button on the control panel and the positioning lasers will turn on. There are three positioning lasers. The first one is the medial or mid-sagittal line, and this should run through the middle point between the left and the right incisors and the ridge of the nose. The second laser is the Frankfurt plane laser. This should run from the base of the eye orbitals to the lower portion of the ear opening. If the chin is too high, this is a flat occlusal plane and the pan may look like a frown. If the chin is too low, the pan may come out looking like a smile. The third laser is the canine tooth laser, and this should be lined up with the patient's left canine, or position number 11. Once the patient is positioned, press reset on the console, and then confirm on the computer screen that the exposure screen still appears. Now you're ready to initiate the scan. Go out of the room and look at the hand switch and confirm that the ready LED is solid green and it's not blinking. Then instruct the patient to swallow, place the tongue on, on the roof of their mouth, and hold still. Then press and hold this hand switch during the entirety of the scan. As the scan is taken, you'll see it appear in the preview screen. When the scan is complete, the system will process and construct the image. During this time, you can ask the patient to step out of the machine. You'll see the finished acquired image appear in the screen, at which point you can click OK to transfer the image to the imaging software where it's permanently saved.